<laughs> What's up, everybody? How's it going? This is Luke, One Take Luke. Thinking about starting my own YouTube channel, not just the Lucas Thornton channel, but maybe just One Take Luke camera reviews. I, I don't know. But uh, all these reviews are unedited. They're not polished. They're not clean. They're not. They're just me being raw. See what, see what I did there? Cameras, you know, shooting raw. <laughs> and, and just being real. And, and to the meat and potatoes of the subject is the out of tech autofocus scenario that I talked about yesterday in the video. This is a very, very, very important game changer for the uh, the Canon mirrorless systems, as well as pretty much, uh, I think mostly most uh, most mirrorless systems, specifically with Sony introducing it several years back and then you know perfecting it, and now you know Canon you know coming out with the OS R, and uh, you know that system being okay, and then they had an, uh, a firmware update which made it a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than nothing. And then the, the US R5 and the R6 comes out. The US R6 is not the camera that the R5 is. The R5 is, even though the R6 is a very capable camera, specifically in the hands of a wedding professional. I, you know, choose to shoot with the R5 because of the, I think it's the 46 megapixel sensor. Uh, and believe you me, going from a uh, 1DX Mark II at 20, 21 megapixels to 46 uh, is definitely a game changer. And one of the biggest reasons for that is uh facebook you know uh, I, I believe in the facebook community i believe in uh, marketing through facebook and that's pretty much how we get 90 probably 95 percent of our work uh word of mouth and also just facebook which is word of mouth you'll get a message from a bride hey you know what's your prices and it's like hey call me let's have a conversation let's sit down let's sit down to your coffee and all that stuff before i start sending prices that's just kind of my methodology um, but uh, don't want to get into all the details of marketing and all that crazy stuff or those shenanigans. I just want to talk about the eye detect autofocus features of the R5. Um, and the US R6 has it as well. I do not have the US R6. I just have the US R5. What I want to show you uh, is the back screen of the camera, just so you can kind of get an idea as opposed to, not opposed, but just to get an idea associated with how uh, how accurate and I would you guess you could say tack sharp uh, this camera is when it comes to autofocus, uh, specifically the eye detect autofocus. Guys, you have a bride walking down the aisle and you're rocking a freaking 24 millimeter, a 35 millimeter, even an 85 millimeter. Uh, you know, the higher the focal length, uh, the less opportunity you have to capture her coming down the aisle in specific shots, specific looks. Um, this this camera, yeah, keeps saying it's a game changer. Uh, it, it is and. It's in servo mode with the iDetect autofocus turned on. It's literally insanity. Like, it's just insanity. And I'm going to show you what, what's up. Okay, so right now I've got the 24 millimeter EF adapted through the $99 adapter on the camera on the US R5. And it is an R5. Some pe people want to say things like, it's not an R5, it's a US R. You just got it jazzed up. It's an R5. It's. It set me back $4,100. $4, I'm not proud about that. It sucks. But you got to pay to play, right? I've got the um, I've got the exposure turned down very low. Not the exposure, but the shutter speed turned down fairly low on this. So you can so you can kind of see the back screen because I'm shooting with a with a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and it's a dated phone, but it still works and it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So <laughs> Here's a adapted lens, adapted camera. Let's see if I can hold it correctly. So, oh, it's so difficult to hold. Anyways, got it in my hand. I want you to look at the eye detect autofocus. Look how sharp and how tack sharp that thing keeps locked. There's my eye on the left. Right there, see that? I'm gonna go out of frame. Here we are. Out of frame. Here we are. See that? I know it's hard to see because things blurred and stuff, but it's the up, down, up, down, across, back and right. There you go. Cool. Okay. Now let's put this on. Um, let's see. Q. We're going to put it on. I call it the shotgun mode. It's, it's, I know it's crazy, but it's what it is. Uh, high speed continuous. Okay. I'm going to show you how fast this thing locks on the eyes. Imagine you're about to shoot a bride walking down the aisle and you want to be able to get it. So you get this camera. Tag sharp. Watch this. <laughs> Every single image is tag sharp. Takes a second to write too because it's just 46 megapixels of RAWs. And not a one, not one of these photos 
are not tack sharp. I know you can't see it really well, but oops, tack sharp, tack sharp, tack sharp, tack sharp, and that's in and that's in servo servo mode. So you know. Game changer. I mean, if we took a shot of whiskey every time it's a game changer, you'd probably be dead by now. <laughs> but um, that's that. We have everything in, in this camera that you could ever want as a wedding photographer. Tomorrow we're going to talk about, uh, I guess, the touch screen, maybe, <laughs> and how intuitive it is. And and uh, um, a spoiler alert, uh, it's very intuitive. <laughs> you have any questions about the USR5 that you want to ask? If you're thinking about purchasing one, I'll try my best to answer them. I want to make this as clear and concise as possible. This is one take Luke. <laughs> you guys have a blessed uh, Tuesday and I'll see you soon.